Hey guys, my name is Samita Bharadwaj. Bonjour, je m'appelle Laura. And I'm Michelle. J'habite dans le Paki, juste ici. I stay at Cité Université. And I live here in Servette. For this video, we're going to be telling you a few things about living in Geneva, a few things on housing, and what my personal experience has been like. We'd like to give you some tips on how to live in Geneva. On va vous raconter comment c'est de vivre à Genève. Something to add in the tip jar. Hi, so welcome to my home. Um, I live here in Paqui and uh, I live with my boyfriend. So we just moved into this apartment and so we're getting settled in. Welcome. So the best thing about living here, I have to say, is just how wonderfully close it is to La Maison de la Pluie. Um, I can, you know, walk to class every morning, it's 20 minutes. As a grad student, you know, your time is, is quite limited and it's very precious given all the work you have to do. So it's a way for me to be active a little bit during the day and it's so close that it's just, it brings me a lot of peace of mind. So that's really the best thing about living here. The worst part about living in Paqui is, um, you know, it's a really vibrant neighborhood and there's lots of interesting um, things to do and it's super close to the lake, which is beautiful. But, you know, being a woman walking alone at night um, can be uncomfortable. There's cat calling, there's um, people staring, um, there's kind of... There's idle men, <laughs> and so it's it can be an uncomfortable experience, and you know even unpleasant sometimes, and so that's just kind of a reality of of this neighborhood, I would say. So that's definitely a downside. So I think what I enjoy the most about living alone is having my own kitchen. I can really do whatever I want, like eat bread on camera for instance, which I do semi-regularly. You can cook whatever you want. For instance, here I am being a millennial and making avocado toast. Um, I enjoy avocado toast once in a while. And obviously, the best part is that you also get to leave your dirty dishes in the sink and you have no roommates to complain, nobody to judge you, Except maybe you guys watching this video, but that that's okay. I'll, I'll bite the bullet and show that you're not the only one who does it. So let's talk about my least favorite part about living here. Um, when you live in a studio apartment, I think it's pretty obvious that you run out of space pretty quickly. Um, obviously, you don't get all the benefits from a huge house or an apartment where each room has its own designated use. So you often find yourself doing everything in the same corner of a house. Maybe you can notice here that this is my corner of the apartment. And right now it's a makeup table, so sometimes I do my makeup here. I have a mirror and all of my products around. Um, but it also works as a desk. You know, I work here on my computer to write, to edit, whatever. It's also served as an ironing board as a sewing table so really you can do anything with it it's very versatile um but you know you have to come up with ways to do it um. so the best thing about living at cité uh would be that cité université is in this beautiful neighborhood called champelle you can see the celeb and it's so beautiful to see the sunrise um, and celeb at the same time uh, the second thing is of the warm showers and of the good internet access because these two things are very, very important to me. <laughs> Number three is meeting lovely people, diverse people from different places, from different countries, speaking different languages. And that adds a lot to if you're having a degree at the institute. I mean, having at the institute along with Cité Universitaire, a double a package of a lot of different people you get to meet. Now that I've talked about the best things, um, a couple of things that are a little bit, I find a little bit difficult for me is that it's expensive. Uh, well, I'm not a student from the EU or from the student from Switzerland. I'm from a developing country and yeah, it is, I wouldn't deny that living in Geneva um, is expensive. Um, but I mean, city is not too bad but it's still kind of expensive.
Speaking of expensive, let's talk about grocery shopping, which is probably going to take a pretty big chunk of your budget while you're here in Switzerland. When it comes to shopping for groceries, you have a couple different options. You could go to Aldi or Lidl, which are probably the cheapest options. You could also go to Migros or Denner, which are sort of the middle of the road when it comes to prices. And lastly, you could go to Coop, which is probably a little bit more expensive, but you might also find the fancier products there if you're looking for them. Regardless of where you choose to shop for groceries, the biggest piece of advice we can give you is to download the apps for the store and to get all the membership cards and rewards cards that they offer you, because you can get pretty good discounts from that. Here's an idea of what you can get for about 100 francs at Migros. Now, for me, this lasts about two weeks, maybe a little bit less. It might be different for you. The most important is to make a budget and stick to it and maybe plan your meals ahead of time because that will definitely save you money. Oh, and one last piece of advice? Yeah, don't buy figs. They're terrible and they leave splinters all over. Oh, uh, I know, they don't... That being said, let's move on to favorite places. My favorite place is the Jardin Botanique. And if you haven't been there before, it's just a walk away from the Institute. But it's an absolutely gorgeous garden filled with a variety of trees. But for me, it's a place to have fun. Let loose and be goofy a bit. It's also not too far from the lake, so if you can cross and walk up there, that's pretty cool too. But I like it because it allows me to switch off, detox and maybe even dance around my friends a bit. Um, stationary plants, yeah. But I found that it's a pretty cool place to just let loose, detox, um, and hang around. We're getting over him! So, welcome to Plan Palais. This is my favorite place in the city because there's tons of places to grab a bite, there's bars, there's lots of places to hang out, and it's super vibrant and just lovely to come and explore. Also, a fantastic thing is that there's markets on uh, Wednesdays and Sundays, so you can come and explore and there's cool stuff. So it's just, it's a lovely place to be. The river is nearby. There's also Parc des Bastions um, a couple blocks away. And so I love it because it's so central. This is Plan Palais. So my favorite place in the entire city of Geneva has to be the neighborhood of Les Grottes, which is right behind the main train station Cornavin. And it's really funny because I don't know what it is that I love so much about this neighborhood. It could be the fact that it that graffiti lines the walls, which makes every single walk an artsy experience, I guess, in an urban kind of way. It could be the fact that there's weird stuff laying around, like that marsupilami hanging on somebody's window, which nobody can really explain. Maybe it's the fact that on every walk I take there, there's different houses playing different kinds of music, which really livens up the atmosphere. And really, this is a very lively neighborhood, a very eclectic one, where you'll find from the most expensive boutiques to a community bike repair shop. And actually, if you're ever looking for a vintage fan, there is a store that sells vintage fans around there. So I'll leave you with these beautiful images of vintage fans. And I hope that this advice can help you someday whenever you are experiencing a very hot summer, but you want to cool down in an aesthetic way.